anyone? Oh yeah, they're coming right out of the ground. It's very sulfury up here. It's so loud. <laughs> So the geysers were really, really cool. You have to definitely wait to see them explode, but you can start to kind of see the bubbles in the main geyser bubbling up and then it like sucks down and then it shoots into this amazing geyser. And it was really cool. It was really windy, so I couldn't really have any audio here, but it was still really, really cool. And I definitely think it's worth the stop. And right after that, we actually pulled over and stopped to see some of the horses. They are so pretty, so sweet. Um, and we just took a little photo and just played around with them for a little bit. It was so cute. After the horses, we stopped at the Gulf Foss waterfalls and it wasn't quite as stunning as some of the other waterfalls you'll see later on in this video, but still really fun and pretty to see. And it was really cold this day, so we actually didn't stay long, but still worth the stop, I think. So we just stopped in Belfast for a little bit of lunch on our way back to Reykjavik and we found a really great healthy cafe that has amazing vegan options. We got a soup and like a nourish bowl and it smells and looks so good. So it's called Yellow. I will link it down for you in the description box but I'm going to show you the soup because it's going to be perfect. So here is the sweet potato soup. It's nice and creamy and vegan. And then this is the nourish bowl, which has like rice and a bunch of vegan beans and veggies, a little salad on the side. Looks so, so good. This is the lobby of the hotel that we stayed at our first night in Reykjavik. It is the Sand Hotel right downtown on that main street. And it was so cute. So we're just about to head out into the city of Reykjavik and explore a little bit, but I want to show you our hotel really quickly. We're staying downtown at a place called the Sand Hotel. It's so cute. It is in such an awesome location. I will make sure to put their information down for you below. We've kind of spread out already, so it's not as clean as it was when we got here, but I'll still kind of show you the sides and show you how cute it is and the really cute bathroom. So when you walk in, there is a cute double bed. Luckily we're best friends and we don't mind sharing. <laughs> and then TV, and then we have two windows. There's a little, say hi Lise. Hi. <laughs> There's a little like coffee station, mirror, it's and then cute. a cute little bathroom. And an awesome shower. We both showered immediately when we got here. Feel like a whole new person. And now I'll give you a little tour of the city. The town of Reykjavik is actually really, really sweet. I haven't heard like very positive things about it, but we both really enjoyed it. And we walked around a little bit, got a few drinks at different places, and we went to see the cathedral. And it's a really easy and manageable city to explore. All right, so I thought I would show you guys what I'm gonna be wearing today. It's our second day, and this is what I'm wearing. Obviously not slippers. I'm gonna be wearing those boots instead. Um, but I'm wearing black Align leggings. I'm wearing a little tank top that's from Lululemon, and then I'm wearing this turtleneck, which is like a high neck and is going to keep my neck nice and warm. This is from Everlane. I love these turtlenecks. They are so comfy. And then I'm also gonna have with me hat, gloves, and warm wool socks and my parka.
The breakfast bar at the Sand Hotel was awesome. They had a homemade juice, they had some smoothies, they had cereal, oatmeal, they had pastries, basically anything you could want they had. We just got down to the water by, in like the center of Reykjavik, there's Lisa. I have my matcha and see if you can get the sun behind me. I'll have to flip you around to show you the mountains that we're looking at and also the gorgeous sunrise. And like I said, we walked down to the harbor in the morning and just watched the sunrise. It was so great. Then we hopped in our car and hit the road and we were headed out to Vic. Along the way, we saw this little mountain that we pulled over and climbed to the top and it had the most stunning view. Driving along the south coast from Reykjavik to Vik and we just stopped at a really beautiful waterfall. I'll put like a tag right here so that you can see what it's called. And it's just like coming over a cliff. Oh, it's so cool. pretty. The first major stop on this drive is the Seljalandfoss waterfall. I totally butchered that, but it's really easy to see. You'll see a lot of people pulling in. There's signs everywhere, and it's a series of waterfalls that are seriously amazing. And the main one, you can actually walk behind, and this is the first time I had ever walked behind a waterfall, and it was so cool. We loved it. We were having so much fun. Skogafoss waterfall and can you see that beautiful rainbow from the mist? We're gonna hike all the way to the top up there. Skogafoss waterfalls was probably our favorite. We really really enjoyed it. The hike was nice. I mean it's not a hike at all. It's just a big uphill but also that rainbow was just amazing. We hit it at the right time and the sun was kind of going down. I would consider it quote unquote golden hour. So it was like perfect light and just a stunning waterfall in general. Last stop of the day before we head to Vic for the evening and go to our Airbnb. And we are at like seriously one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. There are cliffs behind me, a beautiful black sand beach. There is the ocean. And then the sunset is right behind me. to our Airbnb and we're staying in kind of like a little communal space like we have our own bedroom but it's a shared bathroom and we have a little outside porch right here and I'll show you just very simple little bed but they're hopeful that we might actually just see the northern lights right outside of this porch which is so amazing so we're a little bit outside of the town of Vic but we're gonna drive up there for dinner and the black sand beach is like right there so if we see the northern lights I will definitely be filming it and showing you guys so our first dinner was at Suter Vic, and we actually had dinner here the next night too. Really cute, cozy vibes. We really enjoyed our meal. It isn't too expensive. I would say it's like New York prices, um, and we both caught the same thing. We shared sweet potato fries with some local Arctic char, a little side salad, and some roasted potatoes, and there was a dairy sauce on top, so I had to kind of scrape it off, and I ended up being fine, but next time I would order it without any sauce. Then in the morning, we hit the road while the sun was rising. We had these gorgeous views of the sunrise. Hey guys, it's Iceland day three. We are driving the south coast again today. We're going out to like uh, glacier area and we are just stopping right now. The sun is rising and we stopped at this really cool area that I don't know what it's called but I'm gonna show you the formations of it. It's really crazy looking. 
and you can see the lava fields right here. How cool are they? They are just stunning. So what's great about having a car here is that you can really just like stop wherever you want. So we saw a bunch of people out here and we decided to stop. And it just is like so pretty. And it's all covered in moss. All the green here is moss. And it must be like volcanic or something. We're not quite sure. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but I'll try to zoom in. There's a huge glacier right over there, peeking through. We just did a little quick stop. You probably can hear the huge waterfall behind me, but we did a quick stop in between Vic and the glacier walk, and we walked up to this beautiful waterfall, it's called the Black Waterfall, and it has like really crazy like shards of black volcanic rock coming down. Um, I don't know what the name is, so I'll put it down below, but it's like a perfect quick stop, and it wasn't too bad of a hike, and I definitely think you guys should check it out if you're gonna go up this way. Just got to Glacier Lagoon and you guys, wow. <laughs> this is like nothing I've ever seen before. It's amazing. It's literally amazing. It's, I'm gonna show you, breathtaking. It is just like a scene, it looks like I'm like fake almost. It's that pretty. So we didn't have a ton of time at Glacier Lagoon. I actually wish we would have had more time, but we were catching a tour, which was taking us up to the glacier. So we basically just went down to the edge of the lagoon, took some photos and had to go up and meet our tour guide for our glacier walk. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing that we did was stop in a crack in the glacier and it was so cool. We learned all about how glaciers form and it was just such an amazing experience. I can't recommend it enough. If you have the time, definitely worth the splurge. We both had so much fun. The second part of the tour was actually an ice cave tour and the one that they usually go into was closed so we went into what's called the dark cave and it was just that. It was a really, really dark cave made out of ice and sand and volcanic rock. We had to use our headlamps and we kind of like walked along a stream. If you're going to do a tour like this, definitely have waterproof shoes. I will say that you got to walk in the stream so your feet will get wet. But it has this really cool tunnel that is made out of ice and it has like those ripply sides which are actually caused from the wind and ice melting and it was just really amazing and then we kind of walked into the secret area our guide called it the secret area he said he'd never taken anybody else there but it was another kind of like open air kind of tunnel thing that went up to the sky with a really cool waterfall and it was just a really really cool experience overall and i highly recommend it Day four of the trip, we decided we wanted to catch the sunrise on top of the place that we went to yesterday. So you'll see when we get to the top, you'll recognize it. But we basically just drove from our Airbnb and drove up to this kind of cliff area to watch the sunrise and it was so worth it. Hi guys, day four in Iceland and we are watching the sunrise on top of an area that we've actually already been but it was really close to our Airbnb and if you can see behind me, there we go, the sun is rising and I have my matcha and she has her coffee, we brought like everything with us but I'm really happy about it and it is so beautiful up here. After this we're going to go down to the black sand beach and then head back in Reykjavik. It's a little chilly up here. It's a little chilly. 
and we basically just explored this area took a ton of photos and then we kind of wandered down towards the black sand beach walked around on the beach a little bit again took tons of photos <laughs> So we just walked down from that area and we are looking at the Black Sand Beach, which is over there. And it's still really beautiful in the sky. We're thinking about going to the Black Sand Beach next and then making our way across the south coast back to the Reykjavik area and we actually missed a few things on our first day. So we're gonna stop at a glacier like not a glacier, but it's like a lagoon crater thing. We're gonna go to the parliament area, which has a big lake. And then we're also gonna go have lunch at the tomato farm and get really yummy bloody berries, apparently. But I just gotta show you one more time. I know. And then we actually didn't end up going to the black sand beach. It was just, we didn't really feel like we needed to, um, but there was a little area that had some black sand that went down to the water. So we went to there instead. Next stop of the day is the crater. So we're kind of walking up to a crater and there's apparently beautiful lake in the middle of it. And then after this, we're gonna go to the tomato farm for lunch. And then we're gonna go to the parliament area and then we're gonna go back to the city and have some dinner. Get drunk. <laughs> Tonight we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> and then tomorrow we're just gonna zen out at the spa all the whole time. But Over this, at the spa. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna look really good, I think. <laughs> The crater was super cool. It's a really quick and easy stop, so I definitely recommend just doing it quickly. It was like a 10 minute walk around it. Great for pictures. Just great to say you saw it. Next stop is the tomato farm where we're gonna have some lunch and hopefully see some more cute horsies. So the restaurant is actually in the greenhouse. So you walk in and you see the full greenhouse, all the tomato plants. It's so crazy. And obviously if you've ever smelled a tomato plant, it smells amazing in there. And we definitely hit up the Bloody Mary bar first. How is it? You like it? You like it? And then we went over to the soup bar. They have homemade bread as well as some vegan tomato soup. It was super, super yummy. And you can get these like grilled vegetables on the side, which we did and we added it in. And it was the perfect light lunch. And it actually was surprisingly not super expensive. So I definitely think it's worth the stop. Hello cuties. Hello cutie. <laughs> we just stopped and we think we're at a tectonic plate divide. We're not quite sure. It's a huge crevasse so we're assuming that that's what it is but Actually, we're at Pangea. We'll see. Ooh. Careful, another one. Oh, yeah. Well, this is cool. Came to the coolest place. This is so cool. There's a couple big rocks that everybody are stuck in that hole. Right. Oh my god. So cool. So you can see here that we are walking through that 
divide in the tectonic plates. So half of us is technically on the North American plate and the other half is on the Eurasian plate. So you're essentially in two continents at once, which is so cool. From there, we drove over to the National Park area, took some photos and then headed back to Reykjavik and checked into our hotel, which was the Alda Hotel so cute we absolutely loved it i definitely recommend it it's right on that same main street as the sand hotel they are both really great and i actually recommend them both and i want to show you the room really quickly because it is so cute There we go, it's a push. Cute. Oh yeah. Cool. I wonder if you get a view. Hmm, maybe. Just got to our final hotel. We are staying at the Alda Hotel, which is actually just down the street from our first hotel that we stayed at in Reykjavik. And it's so cute. I just gave you a little bit of tour. I haven't seen the bathroom yet, so I'm gonna take you into the bathroom with me, which sounds a little bit weird, but I want you guys to see it, because oh, talk about bathroom goals. Talk about freaking bathroom goals. Is it really nice? Yeah. And I didn't film anything else that evening because I just wanted to kind of like hang out with her and be very present for our last night. But in the morning we woke up, went down to the breakfast bar. The breakfast bar was great. They had so many options, tons of vegan and gluten-free options, and it was really, really delicious. I also brought some of my own things, including some green juice powder, some coconut butter for my matcha, cashew butter for oatmeal, my matcha powder, and I always carry my monk fruit extract with me, so I was able to make a matcha latte. And I also got a big scoop of oatmeal, and then I also did some eggs and some smoked salmon, and just lots of really great options here. It was so good. Those apple cider vinegar shots were quite delicious, and a really good way to start the day when we are a tiny bit tongue over. Then after breakfast, we made our way to the Blue Lagoon, and this is how we were gonna spend the whole day before we headed to the airport to catch our flights. And it was such a great way to end the time in Iceland. It was super relaxing. Um, definitely recommend then checking it out. We're off to the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> we are gonna soak for the rest of the day, hopefully. We're a little late, so we're hoping that they'll still let us in. But going in here, we're in like a lava field. It's crazy. We just out here in the lava. It's stunning and you can actually check the post that I linked down below for even more photos and more info on it. But really, really relaxing and just such a great way to send off your vacation. All right guys, so we just got to the airport. We had a little bit of lunch and we are so tired from the Blue Lagoon. Even though we didn't really like do anything, I think it's just kind of draining because we sweat a lot, it's really hot. Um, we saunaed and all that stuff. So we're both feeling pretty tired. I have another matcha and we take out off in about two hours. So we're gonna try to find something sweet because we want something sweet. Um, and then I'll be home in New York at like 6.30 p.m. But I just wanna tell you guys, this has been such an amazing trip. I highly, highly recommend coming to Iceland. It has been just amazing. Like nothing I've ever seen before and I think it's just one of the best trips I've almost ever taken. I will be sharing a full blog post that kind of recaps our whole trip as well as sharing like where we stayed, some of the places that we ate, I'll have all of the tours and everything that we did. Um, everything that I kind of showed you here, I will, share in the blog post 
And I also might put together like a Google map thing that kind of pins the different locations that we went to day by day so that you can follow our itinerary if you want. Um, I'll also leave some tips down below for you in the blog post as well. And otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you want to see more travel videos like this. I know I didn't do a ton of food, I just did more of like what we did. So if you want more of these type of things, let me know. Um, if you have any questions about Iceland, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so, so, so much for being here and watching. You can subscribe by clicking the button that's right below this video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.